Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your guy, J-Day. Hope all is well with everybody. Love and light. Uh, today, guys, I want to uh, post something different. You know, I got a few viewers reaching out to me like, yo, J-Day, you got to post more content, bro. I like your videos. Even if it's not in DR, you know, post more stuff. So I decided today I'm going to uh, do a little cooking video for you guys. Show you guys, you know, like my favorite dishes, things that I like to uh, eat, things that I, that I enjoy eating. Um, so today's dish, guys, is I'm going to make an island dish, something island style, Jamaican style. Um, normally it's made with fish, but this is my first time trying it with chicken. So I'm going to do it with chicken today. So today's dish is going to be run down chicken with rice and peas. All right. So I got all my ingredients here pretty much. Um, I got the chicken. I got, I'm going to season it with some onion powder, paprika, garlic powder, Dominican oregano, yeah, straight from Dominican Republic, some um, adobo, and then um, I got, you know, some red pepper, green pepper, onion, thyme, garlic, pimento seed, uh, some scallion bulbs, and uh, pretty much that's, that's it. So uh, what I'm going to do with this chicken, I'm going to season it, I'm going to fry it, and then I'm going to run it down. With some with some coconut milk here, some coconut milk. So yeah, guys, that's my I, yo. I love coconut milk. Anything with coconut milk, man, I love. It's like my one of my favorite uh, things to have in my dishes, man. So y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna start uh, seasoning up this chicken and get it ready to fry, and um, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, guys. I done uh, seasoned up the chicken. Oil is hot. So now I'm going to start adding this chicken into this oil here. Adding that right on in there, boy. And you add the garlic and the scotch pot and the pepper and the oil, you know, to give the chicken some some more flavor. And I forgot to mention to you guys, um, I forgot to mention to you guys, I added some um, some some of this, some sasson to the chicken as well. All right. Yep, I added some sasson to it. So you guys stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna let this chicken fry up and I'm gonna get started with the rice and peas. I'll be right back Okay guys, so the chicken is looking good. Let me show you guys what the chicken is looking like Got a nice searing on that uh, Can't go wrong with a cast iron skillet man can't go wrong with that. So now guys I, I'm getting started with the rice and peas now um, I have the oil in the pan here, a little oil, a couple tablespoons of oil, some garlic, some thyme, some uh, pimento seeds. Just letting that garlic brown up a little bit there. And then once that browns up, I'm going to add um, this can of uh, Goya pigeon peas. Okay. Yeah, this is a quick style of rice and peas. Something quick and easy. I ain't got time to be boiling uh, dry peas and all of that. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to add... Um, well, yeah, now that the garlic is brown, I'm going to add in this can of um, gondoles, okay? I'm going to add in the can of gondoles. I'm going to add in a half a can of uh, coconut milk of your choice. Doesn't matter whatever, you know, coconut, kind of coconut milk you want to use. Um, and then I have some of these guys, these Maggie cubes here, chicken bouillon. I'm gonna add two of those in there, okay? Now, this is uh, this is this is um, I'm gonna add three cups of rice to this, okay? And then when you add the rice, you wanna add six cups of water. So it's basically um, for those who you guys that don't know how to make rice, basically it's one cup for every one cup is two cups of water, okay? So I'm adding this chicken chicken stock and chicken bouillon in here. And I'm going to let this cook up a little bit. And then I'll add the water. And then the rice last. Okay? But once you add the water, 
you want to taste, you know, the, you want to taste the flavor of your water to make sure, you know, it has enough flavor. And if it doesn't, you add a little salt to it and, um, you know, that should be sufficient. All right. So I'm going to let this cook on in for about a minute or two, just until it bubbles up. And then I add six cups of hot water to that. And then um, I'll add the rice, all right? Chicken is looking good, chicken is looking good. Uh, once this chicken is done, I'll add the next batch in and then I'll start to run it down for you guys, all right? So y'all stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I done put the second batch of chicken in here. First batch is done, nice and brown. Keep in mind guys, this chicken has um, no breading. No breading on this chicken at all, all right? Um, like I said, you can't go wrong with a cast iron skillet. It gives it a nice, nice searing. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to move on to the rice and peas. Um, the coconut milk done boiled up. I'm going to add some of this hot water in here. Okay. I put the scotch bonnet peppers in there as well. All right. So, now this would be the time to taste your water to make sure that your water is flavorful enough before you add in your rice. All right. So we're going to taste it just a little bit, just to see. It could use just a little bit of salt. I think a little bit of salt will waken this up. I'm going to add a, a little bit of salt, not too much, salt to taste, okay? And let's see, that, sh that should do it. Let's see what it do. Let's see here. Perfect, perfect. So yeah, like I said guys, before you add the rice in, your water, you wanna make sure that the water is flavorful, it has enough flavor in there, all right? You don't wanna put that rice in there until you uh, taste the water to make sure the flavor is good. So it's good, I'm gonna let this boil up. Uh, the water's hot already, I'm just gonna let it boil just a little bit more, and then I'll add the rice in, and then, um, yeah, once the rice is in, I'll cover it up, and then we just waiting on this, the rest of this chicken to get done, and then I'll I'll show you guys uh, step two of the process of run down chicken, all right? So y'all stay tuned, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now the water is boiled up. I'm gonna add my rice in. Now, this water, this rice has been cleaned. Make sure you guys clean your rice before you uh, add it, rinse it really good. Get all that, you know, cloudiness and stuff out, the grit or whatever that be in the rice, little particles and stuff that be in the rice. Make sure you um, clean your rice before you add your rice in. And just mix that in, okay? And um, you just let it cook, cover it and let it cook. Now, if, you, if your rice is not fully cooked and the water done evaporated, guys, there's a light under the tunnel, West Indian trick. You take some saran wrap or foil, cover this with saran wrap or foil and put the top on and let the steam cook the rest of the rice. Let it steam, all right? So y'all stay tuned and I'll be back. Rest of the chicken is cooking. It's cooking, it's almost done. Stay tuned for step two, it's your guy J-Day. Make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe. Hey guys, I'm back with uh, step two with the run down chicken, all right? So, let me show you guys the end result of my rice and peas. Rice and peas is done, nice and fluffy. Um, I made me some, some steamed broccoli here as well. And then uh, the chicken is done. Chicken is done. So now, um, what I'm about to do, I'm about to, I put some of this oil in here. Let me turn down this pot. The um, the oil that I use to fry the chicken with, I put some in here. I throw some of uh, some thyme in there as well. And what I have here in my pylon, guys, is some Scotch bonnet pepper and about four cloves of garlic. This is gonna give, this is gonna intensify the flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna add that in here. Just give me one minute with that. Hold on. I'm going to add that in here. 
see. Look at it. Cook all in there. So, like I said, it's about two scotch bonnet peppers. These are Jamaican hot peppers. So if you, those of you who don't like um, spice, you don't add the um, peppers. Just put the garlic in there, okay? And then now, last but not least, guys, I'm going to add my veggies. All these veggies is going to go in here. Hold on. See, it's a one-man show, so I'm doing this by myself. So hold on. I'm going to add all these veggies in here. Let that stir fry in there, okay? Now, one thing I did do um, with this chicken here, um, I over seasoned it a little bit. So if you guys uh, over season your chicken, it's not the end of the world. What you can do is when you um, add the coconut milk and stuff in here, you, um, you don't need to add a chicken bouillon, okay? You don't need to add the chicken bouillon, but you're going to let all these vegetables stir fry like that there until they become a little al dente-ish, okay? I am going to add one chicken bouillon to this, just one, okay? Just let that stir fry like that there. Smells amazing in here, guys. Smells really, really good. So um, I'm gonna let this cook for a little bit, and then I'm gonna add the coconut milk in, and I'll show you guys the end result. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So the vegetables is cooking on down. So now I'm going to add this uh, one cube, just one cube, only because, like I said, uh, the chicken is seasoned pretty pretty much uh, pretty well. So I'm just going to add um, one cube of this to this here. Just one. If I can get it out. <laughs> Let that cook in there. And I'll mix everything on in. For those of you guys who like enjoy coconut milk, man, you're gonna love this dish. You're gonna love this dish. So we're just gonna let let that cook on in like that, right? Added the chicken bouillon, one cube. All you need is one cube. And um, as far as like the green pepper and red pepper, I use one onion, one large green pepper, one large red pepper, one large onion. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's what I use for this, for those of you guys who want to know. So I'm just going to let this guys cook a little bit more. And um, I will come back and then I'll add the coconut milk and then I'll show you the rest of the steps. All right, so you guys stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Um, the vegetables. They are nice and, uh, you know, al dente, dente is. So now I'm going to add one can of coconut milk to this. I love a lot. I love coconut milk. So I'm going to add uh, two and a half cans of coconut milk to this. That's because I love coconut milk. I want a nice little sauce. You know what I mean? A nice little sauce to go with that bad boy. And then uh, I use the half a can of coconut milk that I use for the rice. So that's a nice, that, that should be nice, uh, a nice amount to give it a nice little sauce, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to let all of that cook on in, guys, okay? And um, as that's cooking in with that, right, I'm going to drop this chicken in here like that. Just like that, guys. Just like that. Drop that chicken all in there. 
and I said the seasoning uh, and the chick chicken is already you know nice and seasoned seasoned pretty well. So once all of this cooks on, then the flavor of the sauce should be uh, good enough. And if it's not, guys, you can always alter it with a little salt. But I think this should just be fine. Um, I'm gonna let this simmer for about a good. I'm gonna let this simmer for about a good 15 minutes, and um, I'll be I'll be right back to show you guys the end results. All right. You guys stay tuned. Okay, guys, so this is the end result of my rundown chicken, okay? So that's the rundown chicken. This is my rice and peas, and this is my steamed broccoli. So now, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna try and taste it here and see how it came out. Look at the plating. It's not fancy, fancy, but you know. So let me show you guys what it, well, see what it tastes like. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, the rice and peas is delicious. And the taste of coconut milk in there. Mm. The sauce from the chicken. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, man. Guys, I think I outdid myself with this. Mm -hmm. Everything balances each other out. The freshness of the broccoli. You can taste the coconut milk and the chicken. The, the taste of the scotch bonnet pepper. The thyme. Ah, oh, man. This is amazing, guys. Amazing. Ugh. Damn. <laughs> For real, and this is my first time doing it with chicken. I normally do it with fish. I said, you know what? Let me try it with chicken this time. Got me sweating here from the scotch bonnet and pepper. Oh man! But um, guys, if you like the video, be sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe. If you guys want to see more recipes coming from your boy J Day, yo, just let me know, man, and um, I'll show you, um, give you guys some of my favorite recipes and, and dishes that I enjoy cooking, man. Until next time, I appreciate all the love and support. See you guys in DR the end of November 27th. Well, the end of November, November 27th and 7th to be approximate, all right? But um, thanks again, guys. I appreciate you. Until next time, like I said, be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, be safe, guys. Peace and love.